looking so great for my city. I'm the realest one that's repping. Oh my God, oh my God, if I die, I'm a legend when they. A new part of our uh, baseball coverage on ESPN this year, and as oh, done a great job. And Hunter Strickland. Now here we go. Harper's charging the mound. Oh my goodness. Whoa. Well, Harper who hit two home runs against Hunter Strickland in the playoffs in 2014. Strickland drilled him with the first pitch, and Harper took it personally, and I don't blame him. have one man left on the bench other than Wilson Ramos and that's Dan Ugla. So an infielder is probably going to have to go into the outfield and play. Wow right in the middle of the leg and Harper is very unhappy. Here they come from the dugouts. They're coming from the bullpens. I mean that ball was so far inside. Bryce Harper no chance to get out of the way. And if that wasn't intentional that's the miss of the year by a pretty good pitcher. Bryce Harper is due up second here this inning. Uh, a little situation developed in last night's game. Not a big one, but a little one. Uh, this is before the game tonight when the, the grounds crew here takes great care to set up the Braves' A logo behind home plate. Bryce Harper last night evidently unhappy with how much he was getting booed here in Atlanta. Did this three times. Just kind of casually swiped his cleat across the A. Those are two separate at bats. He did it in his third at bat as well. Of course, some fans saw that. Of course, that only intensified the booing. Freddie can. Well, Bryce is gone. You know that. The helmet, the bat, and Mike Winters tossed him immediately. One out, bottom of the tenth. Chris Heisey, the only man the Nats have left on the bench. And that's exactly why that can't happen. So let's check it out on pitch track the fastball to Bryce Harper for strike three. He had a legitimate argument but maybe the helmet toss was a hair excessive and there's no umpire that's going to let you stay in the game when you do that. Next up Anthony Rendon. And have success. I think the Diamondbacks. We had them opening day against the Dodgers, and I would, was I didn't know if the Diamondbacks uh -oh. looked that bad. Uh -oh. We have an ejection here. Drew Kapler out. Mark Carlson's hurt enough. Uh -oh, Harper's coming out of the dugout as well. And he throws Cap. He throws his manager out of the way. And you can see this coming from both Harper at bats. Then Bryce Harper will hit it in the air to left. Jeff Francoeur, after switching over, makes that catch. There is something going on in the dugout. I see Papelbon saying, run the ball out. And Bryce saying, you got to be kidding me. And then Papelbon went right after Harper. It's getting ugly, folks. There's no other way to put it. That stuff happens throughout the course of the season, but with Bryce Harper evidently nose to nose with Jonathan Papelbon. That's not good. 
I mean, you could read his lips. He told him, you got to run that ball out. And Bryce Harper said, are you kidding me? Unbelievable. I ain't here for the money. I ain't here for the fame. Though it might be nice to own a jet plane. I'm going to do it all for you. Come along and see it's true. But the